To fill your bobbin, first place the spool on the spool pin, cap it off, and we're gonna follow the diagram of the dotted line. That's for the bobbin. Through here, between the tension discs right here. Okay, now we're gonna take the tail end. Your bobbin has a hole in the upper rim right there and you want to get your thread up through there. Right there, like that. And then pull it through so it comes up this way. And then put it on the bobbin winder and press it down all the way. Slide it all the way over to the white disc there. Now hold the tail end really tight and high when you get started on this. You can either press the start stop button on the front of your machine or your foot pedal on the floor, but go ahead and start the bobbin spinning and let it go for a while so it fills up a little bit, then stop. Cut it right at the base of the thread here against the top edge of the bobbin and then keep going. To put your bobbin in place, you just want to follow the diagram that's already on your machine. You make sure your thread is like this coming off the left side of the bobbin not reverse like this. So it's coming off the left side. You drop it in place. Now we're gonna follow the arrows here. Go under the long white arrow, go up to the corner to the little U-turn arrow, and then come down to the arrow down here, which is gonna cut your thread and you are ready to go. Now you can go ahead and slide your cover back on. Now to thread the upper machine, we want to remove that thread from the tension disc. And we're just going to follow the solid line diagram that is on the top of the machine. So first we go through here, go around the back of this one. Go straight down, I'm following the arrows right there. I'm going to keep following the arrows on the machine. Go down here and then back up on the other side. I'm going around the back of the take-up lever following the directions of the arrow on the top of the machine. If your take-up lever isn't up, rotate your hand wheel until it comes up. Once I get the thread to the front, I tend to pull it a little bit tight so that it gets all the way up to the front of the taken lever before going straight down here to get ready for the thread guides. This machine has two thread guides. The upper thread guide is right here. The lower thread guide is right here at the very top of the needle. Once you get down to this lower arrow, you're gonna hold the thread with your left hand while swinging the tail behind the thread guide and down, pull it towards you. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other thread guide. Hold the thread with your left hand while swinging the tail into that thread guide and down towards you like this. Now you're ready to thread your machine. To thread your needle the conventional way, you're just gonna look for the eye of the needle, put the thread right through it, and then, do you see the tail of it? Pull that while holding on to the rest of it. Pull it, pull it until it's right there. Tuck it there out of the way, you are good to go. To use your automatic threader, you are going to want to look for this curve right there. You're going to put your thread under that curve and push this down. Now slide your thread under the wire that just came through the eye of your needle. That's going to pull it out the back. And if you look, there's a loop right here. Grab it and you are threaded.